we have a MacBook Pro uh, and it's quite urgent uh, it's an M1 uh, and the model number is uh, 823338 13 inches M1 uh, I hope, you, I hope you, you got that okay so the description of this is, is such that the device shuts down when you uh, punch in uh, the password So um, and then the client also mentioned that they they had they already re, they already re reinstalled the operating system, but the issue persists. So I'm just gonna show you guys what it does. So it takes the password and then it tries to load. But then shuts down. So that's an interesting one. Uh, usually, a situation like this, uh, the first thing that you want to do is to reinstall the operating system. But because it's coming from a repair shop, um, we were told that they already did that and the problem still persists. So um, we are. We are. So the the way to go around this. It's uh, first and first we we need to understand uh, we need to take the issue from the point of uh, from the point of from the point where we have an issue. So up until this point, the machine boots okay. The, the machine boots to desktop only when the machine loads. Uh, it's loading onto the desktop. Then will the machine restart. Now the question is going to be. What does the machine have to load um, that would potentially be an issue? So you guys just saw that the machine just uh, went off and then it restarts. So our first thing to do will be to, um, you see, up until that point, the machine works okay. Um, yeah, up until that point, the machine works okay. So another thing we want to quickly check before uh, before we follow up on what I'm thinking or before we would, or I follow up with what I, 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 I think we should do is we are going to shut the machine down and then go into recovery. Now because this is an M1, the way you go into your recovery is going to be different from the way you go into recovery with the Intels. With the Intels you hold down the command and R, you go into recovery or you can hold down, uh, 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 but, but in this case, we are not going to do so. We are going to press and hold our power button. So if I press and hold my power button, uh, we should get a, a feedback on the screen that says continue holding for startup options. So I, so I have to keep holding. Uh, when it says loading startup options, then I can let go. Okay. So here we have the option of, uh, we have the board options, we have the Macintosh HD, and then we have uh, uh, the, the option. So let's see if we go to uh, disk utility, if, uh, if the device will perform any uh, different. Uh, password. Okay, device goes into recovery without any issue. Um, and let's say if you want to go online, for example, uh, let's see, are we able to go online? Okay, we are able to go online. So, and then so far, device does not shut down. So. Um, if this if this form factor did not have the escape key separated from the touch bar, from here we will be able to verify if our touch bar is it's it's working because we will have the uh, escape option present on the on, on the touch bar. Do you understand? But because you have a physical escape key, the escape button will not be present on the touch bar. So right now we don't know if it if the the touch bar. Is working. So what we want to do is uh, let's see. Let's see if we are able to uh, go on YouTube. Mm, yeah. 
Okay, I'm thinking what, what can we... Uh, mm. uh, let's see. So I, I was just trying to see if I can some kind of get any type of control. So what I'm trying to ascertain is if the trackpad, if uh, the touch bar is working. And uh, so far, I don't see anything to suggest that the, 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 the touch bar is working. And that, I mean, that doesn't mean that the trackpad, uh, the touch bar isn't working, but I've not seen anything that suggests that it is working. And, and then all of, all of this uh, up until this stage, the machine works fine. But then when you try to put onto desktop, then the machine restarts. Now, behind door number one, it could be that the device, uh, the, the operating system tries to uh, uh, create a form of handshake with the touch bar. And because the touch bar itself is not in a good state, then the device tries. And then when it's unable to, to do so, basically restarts the process. Restarting the process, what we see is the device has to restart to try again. So that is behind door number one. So what we are going to do is we are going to shut the device down, uh, disconnect the touch bar, and try again. So the device is shut down. You want to take out the back cover to disconnect the touch bar and then try again. Now, on Intel devices, um, uh, you have a case where your device constantly uh, reboots when your touch bar it's uh, it's faulty so we could be having the same thing here uh, okay, so I just use this to Abdu, how are you? Okay, okay. Uh, I'll be with you now. I'll be with you in a few minutes. I mean, I know how you. How you? I mean, how you? Fine okay, it's fine. You can pause it. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to disconnect um, the torture bar and uh, see how the device operates. Um, you have my T T three, yes? Okay, I got you. Okay. So is that the Okay, so these are the two cables we need from the touch bar. Let's try again. Now, by the way, those two cables are going to be uh, this board is uh, 80 0 dash 0 2020 uh, M1, M1 0 2020. Um, okay, yes, 80 0 dash 0 2020. That is your M1. So, the two cables that we've just disconnected. Uh, these are the connectors, um, JT700, which is um, DFR torch, and then we have, J, um, we have JT710. So one is going to be, um, the one is going to give you the actual display. Mm -hmm. um, this connector is what will give you the display on, 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 on the board, on the torch bar board, and this is going to, uh, this is what's going to power the input and the output physically. So when you touch, that torch is going to be powered by by JT700. JT710 is what will give you uh, the the display on on the on, 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 on the torch bar. So now those both both cables are disconnected. We are now going to uh, start the device again and see if we have a different performance.
Okay, so I want to go. Okay, let's see if we have anything different. If it restarts, then we know we have that's it. So our theory was correct. So the problem was uh, so so what was happening basically was the, the operating system. So the, the way we had to think about this is this. Now if the device works pre that stage, then whatever happens post uh, uh, post uh, uh, we, 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 we are not going to take it from before but rather take it from after. So, which is why we, we ask ourselves, what is it that, uh, I mean, what, what, what and what did the device have to basically check before getting to that stage? So, the device checks everything else, uh, was fine with the device up until uh, the operating system trying to create, uh, 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 create a form of a handshake with the torch bar, and it tries, but it's unable to do so. So, what it's going to do is it's going to repeat that process. Now, the process, uh, repeating that process, what do we see? Will be that the, the device would have to restart, which is to initiate the boot for the second time. And then when it gets to you, put it, uh, you, you impute your, your password, it will go through the same process, try to, uh, uh, try to uh, check and try to uh, create a form of a handshake with a touch bar. And if that process fails, it will try again. So it will keep trying. The more you keep imputing your password, uh, the more uh, the, the device will keep uh, restarting. So yeah, this just needs a touch bar. Uh, we are going to go ahead and replace the touch bar, uh, and then yeah, there's uh, no board, uh, there's no board uh, repair required on this one. Okay, thank you guys. I will see you guys in the next one.